Are you thinking about building an app for your business but you don't have the budget or the knowledge on how to even get started? Well, you've come to the right place. You can actually create a free mobile app with a no-code app builder called Jotform. This app is ideal for any type of small business looking to simply create a dynamic and feature-packed app completely for free. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and thanks for joining me if it's your first time here. Now today I'm excited to launch into this mobile app building tutorial and walk you through the simple step-by-step -step process of how you can build a free mobile app for your small business with a no-code app builder called Jotform. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this Jotform tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and build an app for your small business. <music> Okay, so in order for you to create a free mobile app for your small business, we first need to sign up with Jotform. Simply head over to your browser and type in jotform.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. And for those that don't know, Jotform is known as a powerful form builder. And Jotform has done a great job with releasing a powerful free app builder that also integrates seamlessly with powerful forms that you can use inside your app. Now, apps are great for small businesses looking to create an online environment for returning customers, as well as for selling products and services to a loyal community. Apps can also be a simple and convenient solution for accepting bookings. Essentially, apps are a great option for creating a more personal online environment with your customers. And I'm excited to dive in and share how you can simply create a free mobile app in just a few minutes using Jotform. Okay, so once you've arrived at the Jotform website, simply navigate up to products and then locate Jotform apps. Then come down and click get started now. And that's going to generate a few options. And it's important to note that the free plan allows you to access all the features that are available. However, you do have a five form limit and a max of 100 monthly submissions on your app form. Okay, so when you arrive here, you'll see four options. We can create a app from scratch. We also have the option to choose from pre-made templates. And then we have build store. This will allow you to collect orders and donations through your online store. And then over here, we have build one for me. All you need to do is answer a few questions and Jotform will create an app for you. However, today, what we're going to do is go ahead and choose from a pre-made template. This is ideal if you have zero experience when it comes to building an app. And once you've had a bit more experience with navigating through an app builder like Jotform, then you can always create an app from scratch within Jotform in the future. Okay, so go ahead and click on use template. And that's going to take you to over 300 pre-made templates that you can choose and then build from. You can either scroll through all these different templates and you can also preview each app template or you can navigate back up to the top and you can type in a keyword that's related to your business. And what Jotform will do is generate templates related to that keyword. For example, you could type in yoga, restaurant, construction or dentist and the relevant templates will appear for you. Or you can navigate over to categories over on the left hand side and you can select a category that best represents your business. So what I'm going to do is navigate up to search in all templates and type in agency and then hit search. And as you can see, 12 relevant app templates have been generated for the search term agency. So what we can do is simply scroll through all the different templates and select one that we want to use for our business. I'm going to navigate down and I'm going to go ahead and use this consultation app. Now we can also preview what the app will look like 
and that's going to generate a dynamic preview of what this app template will look like. What we can do is scroll through the app, see if we like the way that this app template has been designed, and then if we're happy with this app template, simply navigate up to Use Template. And this is the simple visually engaging building experience for building our app. Now, if you hover over each of the different elements on your form, you can simply click on the element. For example, if I click on this text element here, I can simply replace the content within this default app template section. Up above, you can see that I have basic formatting options that I can leverage also. Then when you're happy with any change, simply click done. We can also click on settings and that's gonna generate additional properties over on the right hand side. Now, if we exit out of this and then scroll up, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this logo by simply clicking the logo and then navigating over to icon. Now down here, I can change the icon color, the background color if I like, and then if I navigate down further, you can see that we can select an icon. At the moment, we have this icon selected for our logo. However, what I wanna do is navigate up to image and replace this icon with an image by clicking remove icon and then clicking upload file. And here's the agency logo that I want to use. So go ahead and locate your logo, then come down and click open. Down here, I can adjust the logo size, maybe slightly larger, and I'm happy with that. I'm also going to navigate over to this bit of text here, and I can change the content on the app itself over here, or I can navigate over to the right hand side, and under app title, I can go ahead and replace this text. I can also navigate down and add an app description. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm creating an app that allows our customers to book their monthly strategy session with us. And later on, I'm going to show you how you can make your app public or private. So for example, this would be a private app for only our customers that currently work with us. So again, like I mentioned, you can navigate through your app and simply click on the different elements by navigating over to the right hand side and adding your own content and replacing the default content. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side, click on add element. This is where you can simply drag and drop the different elements into your app. So for example, if you wanted to add a form, you can simply drag that form into your app and into the location where you want to add that form. And this is where you can preview the different form templates that you wanna add into your app. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm simply gonna navigate down and click on appointment request form and use this form template. And again, what I can do is click on this new form template and change the title and add a description. And I can also drag each element to a different destination on our app. So if I scroll up, I'm going to add this up above. If I keep scrolling, I'm gonna add that down here. Now to edit this form, all I would do is navigate over to the right hand side and click on edit form. First, go ahead and upload your organization logo. Here's my logo. Then come down and add your business name. Then go ahead and click on save. And again, similar to your form, you can customize all the different elements on your form. So for example, if I click up here, I'm gonna change this title to strategy session. Then if we navigate down to the form fields, we can actually customize each of these fields. So for example, if I come down to address and click here, I can navigate over to properties and I can change the question text. I can navigate down to alignment and change the alignment. I can also choose if certain elements are required and I can change the sub labels over here. So what I'm going to do is navigate up to the top and then click on options and you can choose which fields are visible. So for example, if I turn off state, that's gonna remove the state option. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate up to close, and then we can also click on this form designer, and we can change the overall form color scheme, styles, and the theme. So again, because each business is completely different in terms of colors, branding, and the features that you want to add within your form, within your app, you want to take the time to go through each of these different elements. I'm gonna keep the form the same. I'm happy with this theme. And then if we navigate over to the left-hand side and click on add form element, we can simply add additional elements to our form. For example, we can add 
file upload if we need a customer to upload information about their business. We could also add an image or elements like multiple choice or single choice. So as you can see, you have essentially unlimited options in terms of customizing your form. So what we're gonna do is navigate up to the top and click exit. And then we can navigate over to preview form and we can click on this preview form option. And that's gonna allow us to preview what our form will look like on mobile device. Because remember, this is going to be a form that's embedded into our mobile app. So we wanna make sure that the form is responsive on mobile. So I'm happy with that. What we're gonna do now is exit out of the preview form. Then navigate over to settings. And this is where you can set up important settings. For example, emails, you can send an email after submissions. Down here, we can add a thank you page if we like. And then we have options for integrations with other apps. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate up to form builder and click here. And then navigate down to app builder. And that's gonna take us back to our mobile app where we can continue customizing this template that we selected. Again, what you wanna do is make sure that you add the elements that are relevant for your business. Every business is different, so take the time to play around with each of these elements and features. And again, similar to forms, what we can do is exit out of this and navigate over to the right-hand side and click on this app designer. Again, we can change the color scheme if we like. I like the look of this color scheme. And we can further customize the theme colors for this app. If we like, we can also add an app background image. Now, if we navigate over to app layouts, this is where we can choose additional app layouts if we like, but we're gonna keep the current ones selected. Then again, we're going to exit out of app designer and let's go ahead and preview what our app will look like. And as you can see, we can preview what our app will look like. We can also change the orientation and make sure that our app displays nicely in the different orientations. Okay, so what we're going to do is exit out of app preview, then navigate over to settings next to build. Down here, we can choose to disable our app now or on a specific date. We're going to keep our app enabled. Down here, we have the option to enable or disable continue forms later. Basically, the app allows users to save their submissions and complete at a later date. And another important feature that we want to ensure that is enabled on our mobile device is this add to home screen model. Basically, this allows users to add our app to their home screen. And then down here, we have the option to enable the progress bar, which lets users see their progress on forms that they've started. Okay, now if we navigate over to the left hand side and click on app name and logo, this is how your app is going to appear on mobile devices when the app has been installed. So we're going to change the app name to our business name. And then we can also edit the icon. I'm going to remove this logo and change it to just the icon. So here's my logo icon. I'm just going to use this. And I'm happy with my logo. Now what I'm going to do is exit out of app icon properties and then navigate over to the left hand side and click on splash screen. Now the splash screen appears when users open your app on their mobile device. So this is basically the loading screen. And you can go ahead and customize this if you like, but I'm happy with the splash screen. Then what we want to do is navigate over to publish. And finally, once you've taken the time to customize and create your app, it's time to publish your app. Now, fortunately, Jotform makes it super easy for your customers, your users to get your app. They will not find your app in the App Store on Android or iOS. Basically, you can send a link to your customers and that link is going to allow your customers to open up your app. You can also embed the code onto your website so that your visitors can get your app. And then you also have the option to download a QR code to share your app easily. This is great because then you can download the app and you can embed that app onto physical marketing materials or across your different social media channels. Now, if you see this notification up here, that just means you haven't signed up for free just yet. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and quickly sign up and then meet you back here. So go ahead and sign up if you currently have not signed up for free. 
and once you've signed up you'll have the option to customize the accessibility of your app if we click here you have the option to turn private on meaning only people that you invite can access your app currently we have public access turned on and then we also have the option to turn on company access meaning only available to people in your organization so this could be a internal app for only your team to use then we have two basic options down here require registration we're going to keep that turned off and then you also have the option to enable or disable allow users to access their submissions through the app we want that turned on so what we're going to do is navigate up to exit and then navigate down and click on download qr code okay so let's go ahead and test out our app now if we open up our phone and we go ahead and we scan this QR code, I'm going to go ahead and click on the link. And when your visitor either clicks on a link or scans the QR code, that will take them to your app online. Then because we enabled this notification, that's going to allow your visitors to simply tap and add this to their home screen. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the symbol down here and then click add to home screen and then add. And as you can see, I now have Cindio Media, the app that I created on my phone. If I click here, that's going to generate that splash screen. And as you can see, I've accessed this app. I can go ahead and navigate back up to the top and click on the form that I created. And that's going to take your customers to this form. Now, it's important to note that with the free version of JotForm, you will have this branding down below. So if you do want to remove this branding, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. Okay, now back into the web version of JotForm. If we navigate up to our profile in the top right hand corner, this is where you can view all your submissions. If we click view all, you can see all the limitations to the free plan. We've used zero out of 100 submissions on the app form. We have upload space payment submissions and the free plan allows us to have up to 10 and then we have form views we have access to up to 1000 form views however that is it for today's tutorial helping you create a form for your small business completely for free and there we have it guys that is it for this app building tutorial for beginners now if you have any questions about JotForm make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video take care guys mm -hmm.